Hello everybody, Codemancer0 here, bringing another video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to join the Dark Wraith Covenant. I'll also be telling you a little bit of information about the Covenant. To join this Covenant, right after you defeat Ornstein and Smo and you get the Lord Vessel, make sure you go defeat the Four Kings and talk to this guy. If you talk to Framp at the Firelink Shrine, this guy here will actually disappear or ignore you, something like that, and you actually won't be able to join the Dark Wraith Covenant um, in this playthrough. So make sure to go straight here after getting that Lord Vessel. If you need to know how to defeat the Four Kings, click the box above and it'll take you to a video I've made actually showing how to defeat them. After defeating the Four Kings, you'll be right here, and you got this guy, this guy in a bonfire. If you're in the Princess Guard Covenant, he will not show up, so make sure you are not in that Covenant when you defeat the Four Kings. I also hear that being Chaos Servant rank, er, Servant, wow, Chaos Servant Covenant rank 2 will uh, do the same thing, that this guy will disappear. I've heard some rumors that a previous patch fixed that, but I would not risk it. Just go to the dude to do the safe method of leaving your covenant, and then go ahead and try to defeat the four kings. Go ahead and talk to him. Uh, if you really want to listen to him, you can, but I don't really feel like it right now. Make sure you say yes. Very well. I shall now guide you to Pretty much all that happens right here. He swallows you. Yeah. Swallows you and then he's gonna take you down to this little area. Alright, just run up here. Place the Lord Vessel. And you'll get this little cutscene. It'll start to show all these golden kind of fog gates disappearing. Alright, cool. So now that you've done that, go back and talk to him. Very well. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Alright, he'll go ahead and take you back up. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and click start. I don't care to see him swallow me again. Alright, talk to him again. If you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain. The legend. Alright, so enter Covenant. Alright, you are now a member of the Dark Wraith Covenant. Before joining this covenant, you will receive the Dark Hand. If equipped in your left hand, the Dark Hand will be used as kind of this transparent, wavy shield. Not a very good shield, but it looks really cool. In the right hand, just a regular punching attack with R R1. But R2, if you're next to specific NPCs and you use R2, you will start to suck the life out of them, and you can actually gain humanity from them. Ranking up in this covenant is done so by offering humanity to this guy right here. You just go to offer humanity, you give him some, and you'll, yeah. Offer 10 humanity, you'll go to rank plus 1, and you'll receive the red eye orb. The red eye orb is just like the cracked red eye orb, except that it can't be used up, meaning it's infinite. So when using it, you can invade people that are 10% level below you, or any level above you. Say you're level 10, you can invade people from 9 to 723. Keep that in mind when you're invading. Offer a total of 30 humanity and you'll go to rank plus 2, giving you Dark Sword and the Dark Wraith armor set. Offer a total of 80 humanity and your Dark Hand will steal more humanity. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's the Dark Wraith Covenant. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, like say I forgot to leave something in the video, please leave a comment below. 
if it's really uh, important or anything, I'll actually just go ahead and remake the video altogether and re-upload it. I just want to make sure I can give you guys the best content possible. That's always been my goal. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.